Well, the hottest ticket in town this year might just be one to see Taylor Swift. I don't think there's any question, really. We've told you about the frenzy to get tickets and the scammers that are out there trying to take advantage of people. But what about the people hoping to use those tickets for good? Fox 59's Eric Graves shares their story. One of these tickets might just send somebody to see Taylor Swift in Indianapolis this November. What each of these tickets do represent, though, is $10 to a very important social service here in Bloomington. It is it's quite an adventure trying to keep them all separated. The staff at Middleway House in Bloomington is in their raffle era. Just mark it sold and how many tickets are sold. Middleway House supports survivors of domestic violence, sexual violence, and human trafficking. In a calendar year, they work with thousands on their 24-hour crisis line, as well as helping dozens of survivors in on-site permanent housing. The hardest part, funding all of their services. We've seen and will continue to see changes in the grant, the grant landscape. So the staff at Middleway House knows all too well about getting creative when it comes to fundraising. This one is 294. That includes Middleway House board member Melissa Coleman. She was one of the very lucky people who was able to get tickets to one of Taylor Swift's three nights of Indianapolis shows in November, but an invisible string was pulling her mind away from the most in-demand concert in the country. I just really kind of started thinking that we could do something a little bit better with our seats and have the opportunity to raffle them off and could make hopefully some kind of more serious money for Middleway House. So began the Taylor Swift ticket raffle. Two tickets to Swift's Friday, November 1st show at Lucas Oil. At $10 a ticket, the response has been something from their wildest dreams. There's a lot of people who really, really love Taylor Swift. With a 1,000 tickets already sold, that's 10,000 very meaningful dollars for Middleway. Melissa has even higher goals. In my head, I want like a hundred thousand. I want a million for us because that's definitely what's needed these days. To fill out the blank space on one of these tickets, people can swing by Middleway House during the week, venue fine arts and gifts when it's open, and Morgan Stein Books on Sunday. The raffle goes till October 1st. Let's go ahead and put our luck to the test. I'm going to get two raffle tickets for me and my photographer, Corbin. Here you go, Mary Ellen. Here are my tickets. Let's test our luck. Reporting here in Bloomington, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.